yeah, you know, it's it, they're fun. Obviously, you know, me and Scott's relationship is, you know, we've been buddies for for some time, and and uh, this is my first year playing. It, I wasn't able to play last year, so uh, when he asked me to play again, I was, you know, it's a no brainer. It's good cause. It's right in my backyard, literally, and uh, so I can just jump in the golf cart and and come down to the clubhouse. So it makes uh, makes it convenient, but it's also a great cause and, and a great event. So how was the last year of your life when you rewind to where you were a year ago? Where it's you been, are now? It's been a roller coaster. I mean, you know, it's, uh, there haven't been many slow times. You know, life's definitely in the fast lane. I've been uh, traveling, doing a lot of a lot of fun stuff. But, um, you know, the last season, was, it was tough on me. You know, and only winning five games is, is challenging, especially what we came from at Oklahoma State. And um, that's just the nature of the NFL. It's, it's a tough league. Um, you know, I was a rookie, and... And I made a lot of rookie mistakes and, and put our team in bad positions. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can build on it. We, we had a great, you know, mini camp leading up to this this summer, and and uh, you know, I think I'm excited about where we're at. And uh, you know, hopefully things slow down a little bit for for my life, and and uh, can you know really focus on football and and, and uh, win a lot of get, win a lot of football games. Did you feel like things were slowing down on the field as last year went on, went on, or was it just sort of a always felt like it was something new and different sort of coming at you. Yeah, you know, I think as the year went on, I would say it slowed down a little bit. I mean, I, I tell people, I don't think it'll ever slow down just because the guys are so much faster and so, you know, it's, it's such a tough league. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, we, we won three or four in a row there, you know, toward the end of the year. We were, we were doing some really good things offensively. So I think confident, we, we built some confidence. Things were slowing down for all of us. We're all so young. I mean, we had, you know, four four young receivers, Trent's young, you know, run, young rookie right tackle. So, um, you know, it was, uh, you know, I, I, it'll never slow down because these guys are really, really good. But, um, you know, it, you know, hopefully this next year that we can take the next steps and do some good things offensively. What's the challenge for you now with new everything, it seems like, around you, new ownership, new coaching? You know, what's the challenge involved with that? Well, I think you got to, you know, you want to prove to those guys that you're you're the guy. You know, you're, being a quarterback in the NFL, you know, there's only 32 of us. Um, and you're essentially the face of the franchise and everything you do is under a microscope. And so when you have a new ownership come in, it doesn't happen all the time, but you got to you, know, you got to prove to them right off the bat that you're the guy. Um, you know, we, we got a whole new coaching staff, you know, so it's, it's been it's been a great process working with those guys. You know, North Turner coming in is, you know, I feel like a great thing for not only me, but for this offense. Um, but, you know, I, I want to go prove that I got better from last year. I've done the things in the offseason to get myself better, to put myself in position to play better. And, uh, you know, if I can do that, then you know, hopefully we can be better offensively. There was times last year we weren't very good, and, and uh, you know, I, it all falls back on me. Do you feel like you've you done what you wanted to so far to show you're the guy? Maybe they haven't said officially you are, but do you feel like you've done everything you can at this point? Absolutely, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm one of the first guys in the building, and I, I, I'm all football all the time. You know, I mean, I think I uh, spend hours at night studying with my wife. I do everything I possibly can to learn this this system and then, you know, again, learn what we're going to do, who we're going up against defensively. So um, I had a great, uh, you know, great minicamp start, had good OTAs and then finished with good, three good days at, at a, a minicamp. So I'm excited with where I'm at. I think I've gotten better. I think I've taken the steps and the fundamentals and the little things to, to put myself in better position. And so we'll see. I mean, I, I think uh, I'm excited with where I'm at. Yeah, I think I've been in this situation before. You know, it's it, there's a lot of similarities. When I first got to Oklahoma State, you know, we weren't winning a ton of games. You know, and um, you know, we turned that thing around. We won a lot of games by the time we left, and and we're kind of in the same situation in Cleveland. You know, we haven't. There's been the last few years have been tough for for the city and for us as a as an organization. So, um, you know, I'd love to you know be one of the parts to to get it get it back to where we need to be and get it back to. Uh, you know, winning games because that, that that town needs it. The town is uh, it's, a, it's a great football town, great fans, and um, they just they love the Browns. They want to win. We want to win a lot of games. How's your golf game? I don't know. We'll find out today. <laughs> I've been you know I, I've I've played once or twice a week here and there. Uh, I'm actually hitting it pretty good right now. So it's just scary because I'm the pro, which is yeah. <laughs> you got you got guys like Ryan Palmer and Scott and you know Chad Campbell and these guys, and I'm I'm the pro. It's yeah. I think our team's uh, we're on an uphill climb right now, but we'll see. It'll be it'll be interesting. Some of your buddies are doing well on tour. Uh, Ricky and Morgan Hoffman's heating up and so forth. Just you stay in touch with any of those guys? Yeah, you know, I talked to Ricky. Uh, we played in the Patriot Cup a couple weeks ago, so I got a chance to you know, hang out with him a little bit there. And haven't talked to Morgan in a while. Uh, he's playing extremely well. Did, did a lot of really good things on the web.com. Now he's obviously got some full status on the tour, but he's. Uh, you know, it's fun watching those guys. You know, I have a little app on my phone, the PGA app, and I kind of keep the <laughs> keep all those guys and just kind of follow them each each weekend. Um, but yeah, they, you know, they're, Oklahoma State's never never been shot at pump out some golfers. I mean, they've they've got a bunch of 
you know, good guys on tour, you know, going back with, with Scott and Bob and these guys. So it's fun to watch all of them. Your teammates believe you when you say, yeah, I can hang with those guys. I can beat them. No, absolutely not. <laughs> you know, and, and I can't, you know, I, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a, you know, I'm about to get at least four, four or five strokes aside to, to have a chance, but they, uh, you know, I, sometimes I can, I can, you know, fool them and hit one by them or do something like that, but that doesn't happen very often. So I, when I do, I, I, I let them know about it. You miss baseball? I don't, you know, I really don't <laughs> pretty blunt, but I, you know, I, I, I don't even watch it anymore, to be honest with you. You know, unless I have a buddy or something pitching. But, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, those, I don't know. I, I got burnt out my last couple of years with baseball. I, I really just got uh, to the point where it wasn't as fun as it used to be when I was a kid or, or growing up through high school. And so um, now if I wasn't playing football and didn't go back to school and play football, I'd probably miss it just because I'm not, I wouldn't be competing and I'd just be, you know, uh, I don't know, looking for something to do. But uh, I, don't, I don't miss it. I'm, I, I, I will say, let me say this. I don't miss the season. I don't miss the gruelingness of it. But I do miss getting on the mound and, and throwing 28 times a year. If people stop asking how old you are, did you overcome that stigma? Uh, yes. Thank God. <laughs> you know, it, uh, thank God. You know, that was, uh, you know, going through the whole draft process. That was, I mean, I'd answer that question a million and one times. But, um, you know, uh, fortunately, I'm over that. I'm, you know, I'm still an old rookie. That's, that's the way everybody, or I'm not a rookie anymore, but that's the way I was referred to. But uh, can't control it, man. That's what I've been saying all the time. It's, uh, it is what it is. What were your thoughts on Coach McGraw? Can you like go LSU? Yeah, you know, I heard the news and I was, I'll be, I was a little shocked. I didn't, you know, I kind of, kind of caught me off guard. But uh, you know, he's one of the greatest men I've ever met in my life. You know, great, great coach, good guy, but he is a great uh, human being. I mean, just uh, you know, a joy to be around. He's a good mentor for all those kids and. Um, you know, I'd be shocked if he doesn't land a, a good job because he's uh, he's a guy that you want around you. I mean, he's just a positive influence, and and uh, he's been nothing nothing short of great to me. You know, my my time when I was at Oklahoma State. Have you had a chance to uh, tour the indoor facility yet? Man, I haven't. I'm getting up there. I'm going to go up there next week and throw. I think. Um, you know, if I can get on the field, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's fully open, but I've seen pictures. Um, so I, I got to get. I was talking to Rick Cooper. You know, WW Steel, and they built the thing, and we were just talking about it, and he said it's uh, it's remarkable. So I'm excited to get up there. Once I get up there, I may spend the next five days up there because uh, I'll get spoiled and don't want to be uh, don't want to be throwing outside. So I'm excited to see it. What can I do for the program? Well, it's huge. You know, I was hoping we. You know, I had heard about whenever I was. Uh, you know first got there that it was going to be be done and and uh you know it just helps recruiting you know kids want they see this thing it's like the mecca of indoors and it uh it'll help bring in those 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 good recruits i know my dad has long ties to does he live in more and does any of the storms impact him he doesn't um he coaches out at total so he's living out in the mustang area but he um you know, her mother lives in more on the east side and was very lucky didn't get affected. And her brother lives about eight blocks from her and he his house. He's still not in the house They're They're still, you know, battling the insurance and doing some things. They lost the roof and some windows and stuff. But even he was lucky because all of his neighbors were their houses were flattened. So those two are affected. Her dad does not, um, you know, but it was it was scary. It was a scary. We were in Cleveland when it happened. So obviously Melanie was freaking out. Yeah, we we uh, we actually uh, hung out last night. Scott had an event, and we all went to dinner. So I went to dinner with him and and uh, Coach Someone and all these guys, and, and had a good time. You know, Dana's Dana's always a good time. So uh, yeah, we went and had had some dinner and, and caught up and and uh, you know shared some stories. It was pretty cool. It was good to good to get back in touch with him. You know, we actually joked about that last night. I mean, you know, it wasn't. It, you know, Gundy hiring him and bringing him to to try to change the atmosphere, change the culture, and then not only that, change the system. I think it was it was a perfect time with with not only me but with the receivers we had and stuff. Um, he uh, it's still that way with Munkin and Munkin. You know, when, when Dana left, it was yeah, Munkin. He was kind of still the same same way. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I thanked him for it. I've, I've thanked him for at least four or five times for for putting me in that position because if he didn't let me sit back there and sling it forty or fifty times a game, then you know who knows who knows where I'd be at right now. And in the same way, I mean, is he thanking you because you did kind of yeah, you know, you know, he's we've we've touched on it. You know, he's uh, we were talking about you know last night. He's had he's had Graham, he's had Case Keenan, myself, and Gino, and he said that's a pretty good resume. You know, and so he was like, you know, it's uh, you know he's been he's been he says he's been blessed and and uh, you know he's very appreciative. He's you know he's he's uh, he's one of my favorite guys I've ever played for. He's just uh, just a good coach. You know, fun to be around, and uh, he's one of a kind. You'll never meet another guy like him. Just do what he did last year. Don't put any more added pressure on you that's already going to be there. Uh, keep keep being a leader in that locker room. You know that locker room. Uh, I think he has that locker room. He's 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 a good leader for those guys. Um, and you know don't try to do too much. Just uh, take what they give you. Um, you know there's no reason to go out and 
you know, do any more than he did last year because he did just yeah, just enough last year to win a lot of games. So, uh, you know, he's I'm excited for him. You know, obviously me and Clint were close when I was there, and, and uh, you know, it'll be fun to watch him. You know, being being the guy.